Hello, all the Taurus moons out there. Welcome to your reading. In this reading, we are going to look at your emotional blueprint being born under the uh, Taurian moon. If you do not know your moon sign, I have left a link below. This video is for Taurus moons only. We are going to look at the different life lessons attached to the Taurus moon. We're going to look at how you love and connect with others in relationships. Okay, so let's get right in. And I'm just going to uh, give you a brief description of the Taurus moon. And it says, Taurus moon signs are very focused and systematic in their plans. They solve problems with analytics and can be very self-sacrificing. Taurus moon signs are known for being warm and sincere. Taurus moon signs provide a feeling of comfort, but they are also known to have a possessive instinct. Taurus moon is sensual and affectionate. They have a taste for the finer things. A love of art is deeply rooted. Conservative, Taurus moon sign is very pragmatic. An overall calm person, they take time to get angry and keep their emotions guarded. Prone to taking on other people's problems, this sign is great with all things metaphysical. This moon sign is very well suited towards leadership, writing, and speaking positions. Taurus moon signs are very earthly and have great memory recall. They can often be considered materialistic as security is a necessity for them. Taurus moon signs have an aura of forest green. So by nature you are a very loving being a lover not a fighter um, a tendency to take on other people's emotions and problems and want to solve it all want to fix it all for everybody you don't like anybody being in pain you are a natural empath okay and you do have uh, spiritual gifts being born with the Taurus moon you are very good at tapping into what other people are feeling and thinking you pick up on vibes very very easily all right so that is the um, brief description of the Taurus moon let's look at the spirit guide that is accompanying you on this life journey under the Taurian moon blueprint and um, you know how that is helping you evolve your beautiful soul dancer of promise okay you cannot help but love people you cannot help but um, be the light in the darkness for others um, this spirit guide coming in that assists you with your Taurian moon energy this guide is the epitome of unconditional love and forgiveness Okay, so sometimes you may be very angry, like, why am I made this way? Why do I care so much? Why do I give so much when others just are not made like this? It could get very frustrating for you, okay? But you are such a beautiful beacon of light to this world, and you know that. In your high moments, you know that. And the spirit guide is along the journey to always remind you of that. You truly are here as a light in the darkness for many, okay? So let's pull a card to see who you are as an energy under this Taurian moon. And um, this particular deck only has major arcana and core cards in it. So let's see, who are you under this Taurian moon, this life journey? What are the blueprints in which you are working with? Okay, oh, I'm not surprised to see that. The lovers. Love and positive partnerships, cooperation and harmony. Together we dance until the end. And you know, this is powerful. Together we dance until the end. Dancer of promise is the spirit guide 
that came out for you and I just want you to see that okay so you have this beautiful energy about you that allows you to dance through life with a grace and a harmony and a magic about you that most people do not have okay and um, this attracts a lot of people to you you know positive and negative because your energy is the light all right your energy is the light being a Taurus moon and um, together we dance until the end you are loyal to the bone to a fault for some of you okay you if you give your word you make a promise you will see through it to the end you will see it through to the end and so when somebody breaks a promise to you it is very hard for you to deal with and you know this could play out in in big ways or in smaller ways um you know if somebody says hey i'm gonna be there at seven o'clock and they're not there by 720 and you haven't received a message or any sort of call to let you know why and this happens too often it can really hurt your heart it hurts your feelings you personalize it like um you know most people would be like oh gosh that person's just so bad with being on time i'm going to start telling them to show up you know a half an hour half an hour early before i intend to be there so we arrive at the same time and you're like man i give and do and i care so much why can you not care to be here on time why am I not a priority like why am I on the back burner here so sometimes you can really personalize the actions of others um, because they're not as aware or as in tune or as empathic as you so that's part of what it, your life lesson with this blueprint is recognizing that you are made much more sensitive to people and their feelings and what they're going through than most people okay and you are a lover you are loyal you are helpful you are a giver that is just your nature so let's look at some positive aspects of this Taurus moon the strength of having a Taurus moon You are coming through as the kangaroo. Look at that. Stability, faith, determination. Those are major strengths of the Taurus moon. You are being guided to take action and think big. Take your power back. Leap over any obstacle and build your desires on a solid foundation. Forge ahead without looking back and create emotional fulfillment while staying grounded. Be true to yourself and having faith in the unknown. That's you. That is who you are. Those are your strengths as the Taurian moon. Okay. And faith in the unknown. That goes back to your spiritual gifts and ability and your deep empathic nature. So you are a, quite a beautiful soul. Look at you. Okay, let's pull some shadow energy and see what you struggle with under the Taurian moon energy, your challenge. Triumph of lies. Okay, so this is actually going a couple of different ways for me. You have a tendency to say what somebody wants to hear, and I don't mean like you're this deceitful, mean, vindictive person. You say things to people to make them feel good, and um, it's really hard for you. Like if somebody is just a total train wreck of a mess of a person, okay, it's really hard for you to say that to them bluntly you know straight out um, maybe if you are like an Aries um, Sun maybe not so much okay your Sun and your rising play a big role in in you know your personality um, and also where your moon occupies your personal natal chart really apply this reading to um, the meaning of that house 
Anyways, um, back to the triumph of lies. You, um, you would never call somebody out like that um, when they're really hurting and you know it's their own fault and it's because they just keep making bad choices. Um, you would be really kind and like, well, you know, maybe maybe next time things will be different, you know, and the whole time you're thinking in your head, you do this to yourself, you do this to yourself, you do this to yourself, but you feel their pain and, and you, you, you just connect and you cannot be vicious like that. It's just not how you're made, um, you know, and so I think that, and also um, I could see that you, don't always state how you truly feel because you don't want to rock the boat. You don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Okay, you you try to keep, be the peacemaker. You try to keep things very, very balanced. And so this triumph of lies in one aspect is where you really hold back personal truths because you don't want to hurt another person. Okay, and um, on the other side of this, I see when somebody lies to you, is very dishonest to you, it runs deep, it slices you open because you don't understand that. It's such a betrayal. Like, keeping a promise is a big deal to you. Like, that is your signature. If I say I will, I will, and you do. And so when somebody says I will, and they don't, it breaks your heart. You really struggle with that. Um, when somebody says something and then it's the opposite is true or they go against it, like that just gets under your skin and makes you crazy. So part of your life lessons under this Taurus moon is learning to speak your truth despite emotional connection and bond with somebody despite if it may hurt because sometimes the truth does need to hurt sometimes it does and so that's one of your life lessons here is learning how to deliver that when it's called for okay and um, also realizing that you're made very very sensitively and when somebody lies or doesn't keep a promise it, it's not the same for them as it is for you. If you don't keep a promise, um, it's because you're really mad and somebody has crossed you wrong and you're not going to follow through because they they aren't up to, you know, they don't deserve it. You would uh, not follow through on a promise then, okay? Um, but that's, it, it's got to be a big deal for you, whereas other people, I, it's just depending on the way they're made, it, it doesn't run as deep. So um, learning how to let certain things roll off your back is part of it. And also the person who constantly lets you down and disappoints you, um, reclaiming your personal empowerment, again, despite emotional connection and how deeply you feel them and really asserting your boundaries. Okay, you were made to love, to care, to nurture. All right, let's pull some tarot about you, you beautiful lover. The world needs more Taurus moons. The world needs more Taurus moons. I'm telling you, if we had more Taurus moons, people wouldn't want to fight, okay? You're showing as the lovers this life journey like that's who you are under this Taurian energy and so for some of you that could mean your sun sign or your rising sign is a Gemini if so this message really runs deep for you okay so we're gonna look at your emotional blueprint with this Taurian energy and that's gonna tell us a number of different things so <laughs> Two of Cups. Look at you, you beautiful soul. Yes, the world needs more Taurus moons. Two of Wands. Yeah, you just, you bring people together. You bring energies together. You heal people on a um, higher spiritual level. You may be um, somebody who's like a cleaner 
um, you really like people come in contact with you and it's like you absorb the, the negative, the lower vibrational energy from them and they feel better and they rise and they elevate and then you have the duty of really filtering and transmuting that lower vibrational energy through you and then releasing it to the universe in a different vibration. You are a powerful being, okay? Those of you born with a Taurus moon, um, you are a wise soul. You have a lot of evolution that you've achieved in previous lifetimes. There is just no way not um, with the way I'm feeling uh, your energy come through in this read. In the Ten of Wands, you have a tendency of carrying the weight of the world on your back, the weight and problems of others on your back, but you see that bear? That is you. You will stand up and you will destroy anybody who uh, comes in your territory threatening those you love. You will not tolerate that whatsoever. This lover turns into a bear when threatened and not personally threatened. Like, I feel you will really endure a lot, but when you, those you love and care about are coming under fire, coming under threat, oh, oh no. Whoever is coming against it, better watch out, okay? You are the ultimate mama bear. Whether you are male or female, it does not matter. You will fiercely uh, guard and protect, okay? Um, but also with the Ten of Wands, you can get very, very stubborn in your stance of things and b refuse to budge or move at times. <sighs> You got the lovers again. Look at you. Pat yourself on the back. You know what? Look in the mirror and give yourself some love. You are something very special. You are very unique. Not many are made like you, okay? The world needs so much more. Taurus moons. I cannot even tell you. Look at you. Yes, you are a beacon of light. You are a wealth of wisdom. You are stable. You are steady. Um, you often feel very alone, though, okay, taking on the problems, the weight of the world of others. But this is also speaking to your spiritual gifts and how wise you are. My goodness. Let me just sit with your energy for a minute, okay? Um, like the Aries moon reading is like light years away from what this is. Not putting down an Aries moon at all. No, no, no. I'm just saying the energy could not be any more opposite of each other. Um, your biggest struggle this life journey is really about getting your feelings hurt and ran over because you just feel everybody and everything and you don't like arguments you don't like discord you don't like any of that it's painful to you even to hear other people even complete strangers um, talking to each other in a bad way or fighting and arguing it gets to you you don't like it it, it hurts you even if, if you don't know the people um, you are somebody who can't stand to watch another person in pain. Um, you w are probably very connected to animals and sensitive to them. You might even fight for their rights, okay? Because you are just so in tune, uh, not just with people, but with Mother Earth and the nature kingdom. You feel everything. Like you, male or female, you are the ultimate empress energy. Uh, people can strive to be like you. Um, I've just, I've never seen anything like this. I truly haven't. I, I'm in awe of you and, and the depth of your love and the depth of your wisdom. And, and you just, you're like this beautiful, gentle creature moving about and, and you could uh, create major, major destruction in your path. Okay. But that's, not typically the route you choose. Now, in early life, in early life, you may really struggle with your temper when you're emotionally triggered or when that uh, mama bear energy comes out to protect. You may go way, way, way over the line at times. So learning 
to um, hold yourself back because the bull sees red, right? When the bull sees red, it's like game over. And, and you shift out of, you know, this lovers, this two of cups, this hermit. Um, and you might do and say things like you could be very, very destructive. But I feel like this is behavior early in life as you're growing and evolving, you know, and as you move into yourself and you really begin to understand yourself and, and learn to control uh, those emotional urges when you are very, very triggered. Um, you're just this beautiful, graceful creature of love, of light, of healing, you know, moving through your journey. Um, but even when you're in that space, um, you are, uh, you are fiercely protective. And so one of your biggest life lessons with this Taurus moon is learning how to be the protector without being the destroyer. Okay. Uh, because you are not a destroyer by nature and it takes, um, in a normal circumstance, it would take a lot to get you there. Or, uh, would you feel like you've got to protect somebody or something you really care about? Okay. Then you're in that, that mode. So, um, it's being the protector without being the destroyer, okay, for some of you. Um, but man, overall, with this Taurian energy, you are nothing but this beautiful ball of love, of healing, of wisdom, of stability, um, and people are very drawn into you and may take advantage and... Um, it, it's not like all of them are consciously aware that they're taking advantage, okay? It's just, I think some people get very comfortable with the loving being that you are, that they forget that they need to say thank you and that they need to acknowledge you more or do more or give more or be more to you. They just expect you to be strong. They expect you to have the answers, okay? And oftentimes you are that, but sometimes you're not. Sometimes you feel very, very alone in your journey. So let's pull a couple more cards. Compromise, relationships, and transformation. Okay, so um, Taurus is ruled by Venus, and so is Libra. And you've got this Libra moon energy around relationships. So um, a big part of your life lessons with this Taurian moon energy are going to be directly attached to relationships in your life. Friendships, family ships, romantic ships, um, co-workers, you know, any sort of relationship you could think of, a lot of um, this life lesson attached to the Taurian moon is going to play out in relationships, okay? And it, it, it's here, the compromise where, you know, you come into the understanding that you definitely feel things much deeper and more intense than others. And, you know, them not being able to live up to the same energy you are isn't necessarily a bad thing or a shortcoming on their behalf. You're just very evolved. You are very evolved. So um, I would say there's very few in your lifetime that you will um, come in contact with that vibe at the same frequency in which you do, okay? You are a very rare breed, my friend. And so this is where you've got to come into an understanding in yourself that, you know, people aren't bad, selfish, you know, not very thoughtful, things like that. It's just they're not at your level. They don't have your... Um, you know, amount of evolution, and that's partly like you are the teacher, you are the guider, you are the mentor under this Taurian energy, and um, it really plays out in relationships, but there um, comes a point of this beautiful transformation within you where you just get it, you understand yourself, you understand your life journey, who you are, what you are, and it allows a transformation within you so certain things don't hurt you so bad. And again, you get very tempered and balanced in your emotions when triggered, okay? The protector is not the destroyer. The protector is the protector, okay? Um, 
So a lot of the life lesson is going to play out through your relationships, okay? So let's um, take a look at how you love and I really wish I had another tarot deck nearer because I mean you got the two of cups and the lovers there and so we know that you are a big time lover but <clears throat> let's see what's going on specifically in romantic relationships for the Taurus moon how does Taurus moon love Oh, once Taurus loves and connects, it's a lifetime, whether near or fall, you, if, or far. You know what? Um, you are definitely an advanced empath. Um, there's this video that I've been wanting to make <clears throat> forever of um, signs of being an advanced empath. And one of those signs is once you meet somebody um, and you connect to them, they are a part of you for life, okay? Um, whether the connection ends and, and you don't care for them much at that point, it doesn't matter. You still feel them in your heart, in your soul. You are still empathically connected to them for life, okay? And um, when you love, when you truly fall in love romantically, that's that. Um, and you are going to be aware of who your spirit, your spirit guide uh, your soulmate, your twin flame is when you meet them, okay? You're going to know who your true love is, who you're meant to be with um, after meeting them. And it doesn't matter if you separate, um, you're just going to know. You will be very aware of that. But it, this, it's like you love and, and you never stop. Once you, you are, somebody is sown in your heart, they are there forever, Maybe even um, against your protests at times. Oh, man. But when somebody lies to you, cheats on you, betrays you, hurts you, lets you down, oh, it just, it, it, it shatters you. It cuts you so deep. And again, earlier in life, I feel... Um, that sort of triggering, you become the destroyer. You may seek revenge. You may come back 10 times harder than anything they came at you with. Okay, so um, you are loyal. You are true. But man, when somebody just pushes you so far and, and like stabs you in the heart, oh, early on, early in your journey, they are sorry for that. Queen of Swords. You really hide your emotions unless you feel it is safe to be vulnerable and open. You keep a lot to yourself. You're also uh, very caught up in your head about your romantic relationships. You um, tend to overthink things, okay? And it's again, it goes back to how empathic you are. So if somebody's actions and words don't align to their energy, you feel that disruption, that distortion, and it, it confuses you, um, especially in your early years. As you evolve and grow through life, you're gonna be able to spot a cheat, a fraud, a liar, boom, like that, okay? Because you're so empathic. But as you, you know, are growing, evolving, and expanding in your early journey, you get really confused by that energy because you feel it's off, but you know, um, the words and the actions of the person seem to be in alignment, but the energy feels off. Okay, so um, it will cause you to really overanalyze. And um, you know, if you're in that space, recognize that, that if something feels off, it's off. You are very spiritually gifted and sensitive. You are an advanced empath. No question in my mind about that for you, Taurus Moons. So um, those you that, that you really love, it's hard for you 
to accept the darkness or to see the lies and the betrayals okay it's really hard for you to see that and also when you really love it's hard for you to deliver those blunt truths that sometimes need to be said because you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings okay um, but you are very honest you are very loyal you are true in your romantic partnerships Pull some more cards. Lunar Eclipse Moon Energy Reconciliation. You will always forgive. You will, despite uh, your desire otherwise at times. You always will. And also with this, it's like everybody who walks away from you, um, friends, romance, family member, they always come back. They will always come back. There is nothing like you, okay? There is nothing like your love, your energy. So um, it's you will say my life story they leave, they always come back, and it doesn't matter. A friend, family member, romance, it's like, with, and you'll get to a point if a relationship has a falling out or it ends where you're not even going to, like, stress about it because you're going to be like, you'll be back, you will be back. Um, waxing moon energy, momentum. Um, when you fall in love, it's quick, it's fast, and it goes deep. And we have full moon energy, good juju. You are somebody who is going to be quite unforgettable, okay? There are people who walk away from you, but here's the thing. A lot of times when somebody comes across a very beautiful, genuine, good-hearted soul who loves, who is unconditional, um, a couple things can happen. One, they appreciate it for what it is, okay? But that's usually not what happens, right? Um, two, they get comfortable in that person always being understanding, always loving, always forgiving, and they begin to take advantage and take for granted, okay? And um, once things end and are cut off, that's when that person realizes, oh my gosh, they were there. I love them. I miss them. I've got to get back to that. Okay. So when somebody is, you know, walks away from you, they're always going to come back because there is nothing like you and your energy and the way that you love and the way that you give and the way that you understand. Okay. There's just, there's nobody like you. They will always come back. And you're like, yep, story of my life. I'm so tired of it. All right. Let's pull some advice. joy. I follow my bliss and accept limitless joy. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't worry about anybody who has walked away. They will be back. There is nothing like you. Spirit wants you to know that. You are absolutely something special. Okay? A hundred percent. And the world needs more like you. Absolutely. If, if there were more Taurus moons out there, people would want to love and come into solution um, rather than fight against each other. That's for sure. So those are the messages for those of you with a Taurus moon. I am sending each and every one of you lots of love and light. Take care.